How we doing today guys? Sam and Mike here with your weekly fishing report. We're gearing up for the big weekend here, 4th of July. A lot of stuff going on. There's going to be a lot of people out there. So Mike, where are you going to be going for rockfish if you do decide to venture out this weekend? So you can go two options. You can go up north towards Tolchester from Rock Hall. Mm -hmm. They've been still live lining and jigging, catching a lot of nice um, fish. Um, right on that 16 to 20 foot ledge um, has been doing really well chumming guys still going up there and catching a few fish definitely live lining or jigging they want a moving presentation more yeah. so than just a hunk of bait but you still can catch fish you can also go south um like um brick house bar has been doing pretty good um the mouth of eastern bay some people have been catching some fish jigging um fish are starting to drop travel into the rivers i've heard of a few people in the mornings and afternoons catching them on top water um but as the sun comes up and it gets hotter because we've had some hot days paddle tails switching to paddle tails um throwing them in a little bit deeper water in the secondary ledges and stuff like that a couple of quick tips when you're out there this weekend there's going to be a lot of boats out there so one thing to remember i don't care if you've got a brand new 2020 suzuki turn the motor off especially when you're up there there's boats everywhere these fish are going to be packed up and they're going to be moving a lot boats are going to be scaring them all over the place so turn off your motors and uh drift don't don't anchor up as much do a lot of drifts even if you're bait fishing try drifting with them and, and, and avoid the anchoring up um i think that can help out quite a bit with this fish because they're going to be spooked all over the place um so moving on to some other stuff perch fishing has been great perch fishing has been great uh, i know i went out to the bridge the other day and we were catching a ton of fish on the chesapeake sabikis i mean doubles after doubles after doubles all good size 10 to 12 inch fish and surprisingly enough we were um beating some shoreline some rip rap and stuff like that catching rockfish and Lindsay and i actually both caught a 13 and a half inch white perch <laughs> same boat same day on a four inch diesel minnow and a three eight ounce gi jig which was unbelievable i could not believe it we had pictures of both it was they're unbelievable so perch are literally everywhere deep shallower you can go in the rivers catch them on spinners bobbers under shad darts mm -hmm. or over shad darts um paddle tails smaller pet profile pet, and just about everything so speaking of paddle tails, the speckled trout fishing, it's one of the most popular lures we're going to use for those. I heard it's its becoming a slightly little bit tougher with the heat. Is, mm -hmm. that, what, is that what you've been seeing? Yes, they have moved. They're not quite up in the shallows as much, but they're usually on the secondary. If you get up in the morning and it's a little bit not like super hot and humid, you can find them up shallow, like in the mouth of the chop tank, the tangier sound, things like that. Um, but then as soon as that sun comes up and the water warms up quite a bit, they start to move the secondary ledges and drop offs and holes and stuff like that. Um, but they've been um, tearing them up. I know the mouth of chop tanks been good. Anywhere you find really grass beds is the way to go. Grass equals trout. Trout love grass, anything like that, and working. So pushing even further down the bay, redfish, cobia, all that's really heating up. Cobia has been on fire down fun. towards the tunnel. Um, they're catching a ton of big red drum down there. I've heard the Spanish mackerel are coming in pretty nicely down there yeah. so that just means giving another couple weeks probably after the fourth of july weekend is hopefully as heat keeps up mm -hmm. and we don't see as much rain and they'll show up around yeah. here for i know guys have been trolling the smackerel spoons um and bluefish are being sh are showing up toward a little bit like towards the gas docks and solomon okay. people are catching them um trolling small spoons casting metals even jigging z-mans because everybody knows z-mans can't mm -hmm. rip so the toothy critters can't bite through them so yeah it's summertime everything's starting to push up Aside from that, if we push all the way down Oceanside fishing, we're starting to see a few sharks caught now off the beach, which is a great sign. Uh, all sorts of stuff like that going on with big cut bait, things like that. If you don't catch any sharks, though, there's some big rays to be caught doing that as well. A few bluefish in the uh, surf some as well. Small rockfish, too. Yeah, people yeah. are catching yeah, small rockfish, sure. um, like off the Route 50 bridge. Mm -hmm. Flounder's been decent down there, hasn't been on fire, but I know I know some people that have been going down there, especially night fishing. Mm -hmm dropping some bucktails with some gulp or squid strips on it, catching some flounder and some smaller undersized um, striped bass, which is always a fun time, especially being down towards the ocean. If you have oh, yeah. to, if you're going down the weekend for um, 4th of July weekend, you can go down and have some place to fish and catch some fish. So pushing out even further though. Further? Tuna. Tuna. Tuna's been really good. Um, guys trolling, been doing really well. Dolphins showed up a little bit more. Um, I know some people are catching a few blue fins, but a lot of yellow fins have showed up. Uh, a couple bigger grade of them as well. One thing I've seen a lot this week all over the internet is big 
big tilefish everywhere. Yes. Yeah, lots People of big tilefish. People are hammering tile fish. tilefish. So. That's one of the best eating fish. Yeah, in the for sure. World. But another wreck fish closer to home is the sea bass. Those are doing well, for sure. Mm -hmm. So so there's many opportunities out there this summer. And um, I think that's... Crabs? Crabs. You can't forget about my little crustaceans. And especially this time. They it's time are, to eat them this time again. Yes, they <laughs> are plentiful. Oh, yeah. Everybody's been going out and hammering them that I've talked to. Um, all the rivers, South River, Southern River, Magathy, um, even on the deeper, in, in the actual bay itself, you find those ledges in about six to eight foot of water. Mm -hmm. People have been catching them. Um, all the places. All the places. Look for grass. That's, that's always what I recommend is if you find grass and you set your traps or trout line near it, Chicken, probably gonna do pretty well. chicken necks are always good, mm -hmm. um, but if you want that slight edge, razor clams. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're into a ton of small crabs, I recommend um, the salted eel. It stays a lot longer. Yeah, um, and it, it doesn't get chewed up as quick, so that way you can still catch. It doesn't catch crabs quite as well as the razor clams, but it definitely works, mm -hmm. and it lasts, it lasts forever. forever. A long time. And you can just... But you have to keep salting it, though. Don't forget that. You want to keep salting it unless you're able to, like, store it in the freezer. Once you say. buy it salted, if you can store it in the freezer, it's probably fine. But if not, you're storing it outside. Go get, you know, go to the feed store and get a bunch of 50-pound bag of salt. Salt it down real yeah. well. And just throw the whole, you can throw your whole trot line in the free, deep freezer if you have mm -hmm. one. And just keep reusing it and reusing it. Awesome. Well, everybody stay safe out there this weekend. Enjoy the beautiful 4th of July and have a good one. Thanks, guys.